Okay, take two, I'm Dr. Jeremy German. I just made this video about two hours ago, but I'm remaking it because after I posted, a colleague texted me and said, you made a mistake. So I watched the video and I did make a mistake. I misspoke, I got so excited. I'll tell you where I made the mistake. But the topic was two patients who came in yesterday with a rare cause of shoulder pain in the past five years. I've only seen three other cases. So the story goes, patients came in and said, you know, my shoulder pain, my shoulder hurts in the back. I have pain in the back. And I have some weakness with this motion, which is external rotation. So we did a thorough examination, including an ultrasound. So zoom in here, I'll show you. This is the humeral head, the ball of the ball and socket. The socket's over here. But what I want you to pay the most attention to is this black circle. That's a cyst. Where is that cyst? Let's spin the skeleton around. I will show you. Here's the ball of the ball and socket. Again, the humerus socket's over here. But look right here. There's a little hole. There's a little notch. That is the spinoglenoid notch. So let's review the anatomy. A little nerve called the suprascapular nerve comes up through here, through the suprascapular notch. It supplies or innervates the supraspinatus muscle, one of the four rotator cuff muscles. That's the one that engages in abduction, lifts the arm out to the side. And then that nerve dives down through the spinoglenoid notch, where it then innervates the infraspinatus muscle. In the last video, I said infraspinatus and teres minor. I was getting excited about the idea of external rotation, but teres minor is actually innervated by the axillary nerve. The point being, when you have a cyst in the spinoglenoid notch, it can compress that little nerve, which can cause weakness and dysfunction of the infraspinatus muscle. So take a look back here. The cool thing about having an ultrasound machine is when you can see the cyst on ultrasound, you can, under ultrasound guidance, direct a little needle into that cyst and aspirate it. You can decompress it. You can take the pressure off of the nerve and hopefully get rid of their symptoms so that everybody is happy. It's a pretty rare cause of shoulder pain. Think overhead athletes, think repetitive activities, think maybe volleyball players. It does tend to be a que test question though on EMG tests, ultrasound, sports medicine, orthopedic tests. For those of you students who watch our content, think cyst and spinal glenoid notch, suprascapular nerve, external rotation weakness.